the evolution of the SIM card is closely linked to the evolution of mobile phones, occupying a leading place in the development of mobile telecommunications. Let's see how SIMs have evolved over time, both in terms of size and technology. The SIM, or Subscriber Identity Module card, was first introduced in 1991 by Munich-based smart card manufacturer Giseka and Divrent for the Finnish mobile operator Radio Linja. The first SIM card was called SIM Standard. It was the size of a credit card and could only take 5 messages and 20 contacts. This type of SIM card was used by landline card phones and some early mobile phones. In 1996, the standard SIM card was replaced by the Mini SIM, which was at least 12 times smaller than the first generation standard SIM card. The new SIM card size was used by millions of mobile phones. The trend of decreasing the size of SIM cards continued. In 2003, Micro SIM was launched, smaller by 1 cm in length and 0.2 cm in width than Mini SIM. The Micro SIM card saved space on the smart device which allows the manufacturer to install other components in the device. The iPhone 4 was the first smartphone to use a micro-SIM card in 2010. In 2012, the next generation of SIM cards was released, smaller in size, to occupy as little space as possible in the new phone. Compared to micro cards, the length has been reduced from 15mm to 12.3mm and the width from 12mm to 8.8mm iPhone 5 was the first phone to use Nano SIM, and now many high-end smartphones come with Nano SIM slots. The newest SIM card standard is the eSIM, or Embedded SIM. Announced in 2016, this is just a chip embedded directly inside the smartphone from the manufacturing process. It replaces the physical card, and operators can be added or removed. Also, while a regular SIM has a customer profile, eSIM allows multiple profiles and can be activated to work on multiple devices. The first phone with a built-in eSIM was the Google Pixel 2, and the first eSIM-only mobile was the 2019 Motorola Razr. This is the evolution of the SIM cards, and the question is, how will SIM technology continue to evolve? We are waiting for your answers below in the comment section.